your body go with the flow You know you can do it All you need is your own imagination So use it, that's what it's for Hey, what's up, bitches? Here we are in the wonderful city of Berlin, inside of what feels like a bank, and that's for a damn good reason. Um, we're at this place which is called the Deutsche Guggenheim, which is basically the Guggenheim of Berlin. It's a little project space that is a little magical today. Right now, we're ignoring the press conference, which is going on right here. There's a group show that's going on that's called Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, I did an MFA and I got a day job. Once upon a time, I sat there crying in my studio and Charles Satchi came and discovered me. Once upon a time, I appeared on the cover of Art Forum. Once upon a time, I was invited to that exclusive dinner party at the art fairs. Poof, it came out of nowhere. It can hold the magic wand too. <laughs> It matches your shirt and I'm so happy. Right. What are the modern fairy tales of the art world? Do you feel kind of like the Cinderella of the art world a little bit? <laughs> um, should I say yes and then would that be better? <laughs> <laughs> don't say yes if you don't mean yes. I think definitely there's a whole kind of uh, myth making around artists or around their work. Um, is there any things that you went into the art world not knowing about that you had to learn the hard way that were ended up only being a fantasy? I try not to, th to have expectations in general, so I just kind of try to stay present and, and just take it as it comes. So I don't remember thinking it would be one way and then it turned to another. I, just, I think I was just really focused on what I was doing rather than thinking how it would turn out. I was a starving artist and then suddenly, you know, it didn't feel like that. It's Is there any other uh, myths that you want to tell us about? Uh, <laughs> I have a tale. <laughs> If you can, I get to keep this? You can keep that. That's for you because you deserve the magic wand of, right. of the magical art star. In fact, we'd grant you the curator's wand. Ah, lovely. And it's like Cinderella, but like ghetto fabulous Noikung. Yeah. <laughs> I paid 75 cents for that. It's like, you know, I've, I've done some other coverage at other Guggenheims and I'm always looking for scandal, I'm always looking for hype, I was always looking for like crazy PR, I'm always looking for art stars, and then it's just and like... Curators tend to be a bit boring. And there you have it. Another boring episode. Man, we should just, you know, stop covering the art world and start stripper stars or something. We need some, some more psychotic stuff happening in our show. If you're crazy and you want to be featured on Art Stars TV, you need to write us at artstarstv at gmail.com, because this is boring ass shit. Later. Tough sell Guggenheim, you're still boring. <laughs>